Hey guys, welcome back to Twitter Recap, the only news show guaranteed to increase your life expectancy. So, in today's video, it's a bit of a return video, I've been gone for a while. Started this in October 2021, two years ago, and uh, here I am. From February the 9th, which I believe is four days from now, so Thursday, Friday-ish, um, the Twitter API will no longer be free, which basically means that all the Twitter bots and uh, like automated accounts will have to buy, I think, a subscription to to keep running. Essentially, that means most of your most of your fan favorite bots, like the countdown bots, uh, every frame in order, anything bot, all of those gone, unless they continue to do it manually or buy this, which I doubt they will do. Uh, it's a real shame. Another common Elon Musk L. Another awful decision by Mr. Musk himself is to require businesses to pay $1,000 per month for a gold check mark next to their name. Say for example you're like, you're Tesco, right? On Twitter you've got 50,000 followers. People can assume that you're the real one compared to another Tesco that has five followers, right? You don't really need a gold check mark there, let alone for $1,000 per month. So that's another common Elon Musk L. But one thing good that he did do very recently was he announced that creators who get ads in their rep reply threads, their rep reply, oh my god, <laughs> rep reply threads, why is this so difficult, man? Creators who get ads in their reply threads will get a share of the revenue generated, which is very good, because then, you know, you're actually getting bang for your book rather than just promoting something else and not seeing any of it. And lastly, to wrap up this very quick episode, is The Last of Us. That has had very good reviews. It's on episode 3 at the time of recording, and probably the time of upload. I'm thinking about uploading this on Friday, so there'll still only be three episodes. First episode on Rotten Tomatoes got 100% pretty darn good. And it got 9.2 on IMDb. Episode 2 got 96% on Rotten Tomatoes, 9.2 on IMDb. Episode 3, 97% on Rotten Tomatoes, and 7.9 on IMDb. Um, and I just find it interesting that this is doing significantly better than the Velma show ever could have. So, there we go. That'll do it for this week's video. Uh, I will try to remain weekly with these things, but I'm lazy. So, thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.